Welcome guys and girls to another Division video. Now over the course of this weekend I'm sure everyone will be engrossing in the new update 1.8.1. Now today I could have done a video on giving you all the content that the new patch involves but as my family and subscribers I'm just presuming you just can all read so I'm going to give you a little tip when you're on your character screen you want to go down to patch notes and that's where you've got the overview you've got the modifiers for both global events new commendations two new legendary missions and then a bit more of an in, in detailed text format of the game's changes bugs fixes and the full patch notes so yeah that's that's a better better job than I could have done and it's all there right in front of you on the game so feel free have a little read get some knowledge on what's coming up within the game but I don't need to do a video on that because I know you guys are smart and you can all come over and look at it yourselves but what I do want to do a video on is an informational video today and I feel ne a need to do this video because it's a free to download app that I have used since day one in the division it's not a paid promotion you know it's it's an app that I really want to get out there because it has helped me in so many ways and I really think new returning and experienced players it can help anyone now I presumed everyone was familiar with this app and I was obviously wrong because I've been sharing the app lately with players within the division and I've had quite a lot of good feedback from it you know I had one person say to me it's an awesome app and I've I've never known about it so that's led me to do this video the app is called TAC Division and it's available on iOS and Android and as I say it's a free to download app you know you don't get anything for free these, these days so even if you don't like it I mean there's no harm in trying it and being my family I want to look after you I wouldn't recommend anything that's rubbish or trash you know I wouldn't recommend it if it wasn't good it's absolutely brilliant it's a brilliant app and it's basically you can structure builds you know for future stuff that you're farming and you want to see what type of stats you're going to be able to roll or how it's going to change your gear set it's got all the maps for the game um, it's helped me with survival because the map on survival shows me where all the div tech are where all the medicine is um, you know it's mainly it's got the vendor resets now I know there's videos out there for vendor resets but maybe it's a bit of hypocrisy but you know I'm, I'm doing a video for you <laughs> to watch but I don't like watching vendor reset videos I'd rather see them in text format and that's exactly what's on this app you know on point every single week all the items that are new in the vendors are there to scroll through and you can just pinpoint what location they're in and head on over and purchase them so yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try for the first time ever and record from my mobile device just to give you guys a little bit of a head start on a guide on what to expect when you download the app and I really hope it helps and you enjoy so thanks for watching let's go <laughs> So everyone, this is the app when you load it up. Now, let me just start by saying, as you can see by the slogan, by the community, for the community, it's had a lot of community input on this app and that's something I like to hear. 
because you know he's the developer is always open to suggestions this app's got the vendor reset each week it's always updated bang on point and i've only just emailed them with a suggestion to put in the the most recommended items to buy and he's gonna in the future you know could be soon he's gonna add that as a feature but yeah i just want to start off by saying it's free you know in life you don't get much for free and this has helped me throughout the division in many different ways so let's jump right in in the top left you can see there's a tab you know you, you click on the tab and then this is where you've got all your different sections now I'm gonna briefly try and go over these because especially the build section you know you, you can be in there for an endless amount of time there's so many modifications you can make you can be trying out hybrid builds you can try all different things but I'll just go into it and show you on the builds now I've just put an example one which is a striker classified and I've just named that by hitting the settings and changing the build name and you can even put the description down so if I jump into the build you can see I've got the information the gear and then the weapons now I haven't specifically chosen any attributes I've just made some as an example but what what I want to show you is what I find this really good for and for me I use it still now but for new players it's it's really good because you know you can you can modify builds and on paper you can see what they look like or on screen in fact <laughs> you can see what they look like instead of re-rolling stuff within the game wasting credits and then thinking actually I don't really like the way that is I'm gonna roll it back so that's what this is perfect for it's also good for if you've got four piece striker so you're going for like this build a six piece striker classified and you've only got four or five pieces and then maybe you're missing the holster you want to see what roles within the holster you know suit the build and where you want to be going with the build so it's just a great way to to edit and make builds so if i click into the mask i'll just show you how much detail is involved in the build section so you've got your sets you can choose any set you want i've chose the striker and then also underneath that you can see it's grayed out but that's that's for if you want to select you know high-end gear you know you, you've got all your gold uh, masks so we'll swap it back to striker now you've got your checkbox whether it's classified or not then when when you go down to your attributes you can select what piece you know do you want it to be stamina electronics or firearms and then your major minor bonus yeah see so your crit chance health on kill you can put all this information in and then also your gear mods you know select any gear mod that you you wish to use and just see what it looks like i mean you could you could be building a pv build and you want to put all your damage to elite in and then when you go onto the the stat sheet uh, back it back it on the screen back um you know you can see how much damage to elite you can stack up and then go and you know re-roll stuff in the game so let's move that back to crit chance as you can see next to crit chance there you know you can select what type of mod it is and then you hit the save now let's try and show you something with different mods in so the backpack as you can see you know you've got the little gold boxes that just basically means it's got a mod on and then it's got two performance mods so let me go into the backpack and i'll show you see the performance mods at the bottom you can select whichever performance mod you want you know and then see what the stats turn out like see whether you like it or not so you could have turret you could have anything you want 
But I have first aid self heal because that's what I actually run on my striker. And then also you've got your weapons tab. You know, it's all up to date with the most popular gun in the house <laughs> that everyone has or wants. You can, you know, maybe you don't have the house. You know, maybe you're grinding for the house. But by inputting it into this app, you know, just playing around, you can you can select your deadly. That's what you want on the house. And then you can, when you go back and click on your information, you can actually see, you know, how does it affect, you know, your numbers within the build, your critical hit damage. And then also you've got your main attributes. So with the main attributes here, you can see my stamina is 7k. Now I might like I was saying earlier, I might want to I might want to change it. You know, I might think, well, what if I had another piece on stamina? You know, so if I go in, you can see my masks on firearms. If I select a mask and switch it to stamina, and then go to, down to the bottom, hit the save, go back to the information tab, back on main attributes, you can see I'm up to 9k stamina. So you can play around with it. You know it. I love it for hybrid builds because I, I like to hit 50% skill haste, I like to think outside the meta and this is what I use just to see you know what different things work together. So yeah that's that's the build section you know I, I really like it and I think it will really help new players out. We just want to have a play around and see what builds suit them and where they could be if they don't already have the pieces. Now. The next section is tutorial section. Now, as you can see, our channel's there on the English tab, but this is just different languages, well, different, you know, specified languages of channels who all do division content. You know, have a browse through them. They might have content that, that you like and you want to subscribe to. But as you know, like, you know, Wids is on there, you know, he's a a very good division player and they're just all different types of players now if we go back now this is a section that I've used a lot in the past it's the the next section is maps now you've got a general map you've got a dark zone map and also one of my favorites you've got a survival map now this helped me find out where everything is in survival because I know survival doesn't get you know the credit it deserves but for me, it's still the best DLC. And if you zoom in, you know, you can see you've got your legend at the top. And then you can look around the map and see where everything is. And it's just a great bit of kit, really. Having the maps on your phone, on the fly. I really, really like it myself. Now, this is the main one. The weekly vendors. Every single, you know... Friday, Saturday, I check the weekly vendors. I see what's for sale. And as you can see, when you click on it, it's everything that's for sale that week. And all you need to do, say, you, you know, we'll go across to the weapons tab. And say I wanted a, a classic M44. There it is, you can see. I click on it tells me where it is it's in Camp Clinton it tells me the headshot damage you know and then also at the bottom it'll tell you what talents it's got this just saves a bit of time you know I could make vendor <laughs> reset videos but for me that that content isn't very creative and you can have a free app that shows you everything and as I say I've contacted the developer and he's looking to put recommended buys within this vendor reset but yeah, it's, it's, it's got everything in it. Everything you need. You know, your weapon mods. If you scroll down, extended magazines. You know, actually, <laughs> that's pretty random. You know, I've just clicked on a, a God Roll extended magazine at East 61st Street. So if you haven't picked that up, that's a pretty nice extended mag. Go and get it. Now, that's the vendor reset. And if we go back, the next section, which is gear, weapons, talents, and armor, this is just information, you know, for, for people that, that don't know what does what. So if you click on gear and then go on sets, 
it's got so much information of what each set does you know you can expand it read it check it out all the weapons sorry let me click on see you can click on exotic weapons so if we click on the bullfrog it'll tell you what the actual exotic talent is and what it does so this is just a, a small section for you know information you know you can check out armor you can check out the robust the sturdy you know they're the the gold chests and then moving towards the bottom you know there's one section where it says others and this is a good section because you can choose your language you know if you spanish you know swap the language over it makes sense but yeah that that is tact division and for me i need thought i needed to share this because it's an app that i've used since it was released a long time ago and it has helped me so much in the game and this isn't for promotional purposes you know i have been in contact with the developer just to give him some suggestions no different than what you could do and it's free <laughs> i can't emphasize more on that obviously it's got the ads at the bottom but they're not in your face ads they don't pop up you can see i've just been using the app but they don't pop up and it's just a fantastic way for new and experienced players to to find you know vendor resets maps put your builds in you know check out different division youtube channels within the tutorial section and i really recommend that you go and download this and in the comments down below let me know let me know what you think you know and if you have got any suggestions give them to me or email a developer yourself and give them some suggestions it's going to be great for division two this app is really going to come alive in division two it's great now but as we know division two is going to be the new up and coming thing so guys and girls that is the the app tack division and as i say it's a free to download app and it's personally recommended by me to you guys and i just want to finish up by saying we've just hit 2000 subscribers and i am really really grateful for this and that's why I've tried to show a bit of diversity in my video today. It's not all about montages and build videos. I've tried to give you guys a little something back that I know will help you throughout the course of this game and also into Division 2. So feel free to download it. If you need any more help within the app, just give me a shout. And please make sure you comment. You know, let me know what you think of it. If you've got any of your own suggestions but i thank you so much for watching everyone take care and until next time i'll see you guys later